This week, I'm gonna be fitting some storage to the back seat of the <laughs> This week, I'm gonna be pulling out the back seat of the Hilux to fit a bit of a storage solution, to fit more clothes, more stuff, good times to come. Let's do it. <laughs> So, this space here is a little bit hard to use, so I'm thinking about taking out this back seat and that's gonna give us about, about that much room. That'll be able to put some uh, a timber shelving system with some marine carpet just glued onto it. And it'll basically go across here and maybe make some shelves to make like a wardrobe facing your direction. Rip the back seat out and see what's, uh, how much space we end up with. First time taking out this back seat, so not too sure how it comes out, but I figured if I take enough bolts out, it's bound to fall out. So what I've got here is primer for the timber, finishing coating paint, a couple of wood screws and wood glue, so not a lot. I decided to go without carpet this time because it was a little bit cheaper and plus I really hate lining carpet on timber. Um, so. That's just me. So on the advice of my mate who's a builder, he's done storage systems in the back of his patrol, a couple of land cruisers. Uh, he recommended me to get non-structural CD 12 mil plywood to make anything in the car. So what I did, I grabbed nine mil because I did. <laughs> and I just wanted to be extremely light. This will be about 20 kilograms that'll be holding up the entire weight. If this fits the first time, I think I'm on the sun. Well, it fits. So the plan is to drill holes in the plywood on the backboard to hook it over the factory seat hooks so it takes up most of the weight and it's not affecting any of the factory parts of the car. And it's already a really good point of attachment and it can handle a lot of weight. Probably the hardest thing about this shelf is that it's a wedge shape. So it's flat down this side and on the back it actually comes in on the angle. So it's been a bit of a trouble the whole time. I'm onto the last two pieces now. So I made the shelf a little bit too narrow and this doesn't fit inside. So I'm just gonna have to cut that little lip off there and then it'll just fit snug straight in. So this is a primer that's gonna go on the timber before I paint, it's just white. And then I've got a like a grey colour that matches the interior, I hope, which will go over the top. It's just interior wall paint, which is gonna be fine since they're sitting in the back of the car. 
they're going to have a pretty good life, so I reckon that'll be just fine. Look how stiff this brush is. Primer done. I basically got everything painted with that one little can. Can. That one little can. It covered every surface. The only thing I didn't get was the back of the rear panel. Didn't have enough paint. So the next thing I'm going to do is go over it with the top coat and see what it looks like. So once I get it all sitting where it wants to sit, I'm just going to put a couple of screws between this panel to this panel, stop that from moving and it becomes one and then a little L bracket to screw each of these just down to that bottom board and then that's it. The least amount of fixings as possible so it's not such a permanent structure. As you can see, I'm not going to win any uh, Master Builder Awards with this thing, but it will do, as I say. Won't see it from my house. The shelf is in the car, it's finished. It cost me 150 bucks from Bunnings. It weighs about the same as what the chair weighs that came out of the car. Um, it's all done, ready to fill it up with clothing, all the stuff's going in it, finishing up this week. So, if you enjoyed it, awesome. If you didn't, well, well.